Korean tutor Lin. Today we are going to learn how to make tenses in Korean. Like any other languages, Korean has tenses. Present tense and past tense and future tense. Of course, there are more to it like present progressive tense and past progressive tense, etc. But I'm gonna cover the present tense first today and then I'm gonna cover the rest one by one later. In Korean, the present tense includes not only the present tense, but also present progressive tense and the future tense, in which it is clear that the future event will occur. And also, you need to know that in Korean, the verb and adjectives are treated just like the same. So if you learn how to make tense with the verb, it goes the same with the adjective. So if you look at the word 읽다, which means read, Always, the Korean verb consists of word stem and word ending. In here, 일 is a word stem carrying the core meaning, and 다 part is the word ending and also called dictionary form. Always, the verb and adjective consists of word stem and word ending, and word ending is always 다. It doesn't have any meaning, it's conjugated to something, depending on the tenses or politeness level or the sentence type. So, the 일, word stem, this part doesn't change the form, and 다, word ending, this part is conjugated to something, depending on the tenses. I will give you an example, adjective, 멋있다, which means to be handsome. 멋있 is a word stem. And ta is a word ending. Always the word ending dictionary form is ta. So if you look at the Korean vocabulary book, the verb and adjective ends with ta. And this part is conjugating part. So I'm going to teach you how to conjugate this word ending part to make the present tense today. So to make the present tense, there are two cases. If the verb and adjective doesn't have any finer consonant, which is 받침, they follow these two rules. And this is quite simple. First rule is if the word stem ends with a or o vowel, the word ending is conjugated to a yo. For example, 안다, which means sit in English. 안 is word stem and ta is word ending and if you look at the word stem this has a finer consonant here and if you look at the vowel this is a a vowel so ta is conjugated to a yo okay and the second rule is the rest of them is just you can add o yo for example 먹다 which means eat Ball, it has a finer consonant and the vowel is not a and it's also not o. So, ta is conjugated to o yo. Okay, let's practice with more examples. If you look at these four words, they all have a finer consonant. So, it follows this rule. So, first one is palda, which means to sell in English. It has a finer consonant and the vowel is a. So it follows the first rule, so ta is conjugated, a yo. So the answer is pa da yo. And the next one, chota. To be good, finer consonant and vowel is o, the first case. So the present tense of chota is chua yo. Masita. This is a word stem, has a finer consonant, and this is the Second case, it's not a, it's not o. So, ta is conjugated to o yo. And the next part, il ta. Finer consonant, and it's not a, it's not o. So, so ta is conjugated to o yo. So, il go yo is a present tense of il ta. And the second case is when there is not finer consonant. As I taught you in the previous video, the Korean syllable always consists of one consonant and one vowel, right? One consonant and one vowel is mandatory, but the additional consonant, which is finer consonant, this is optional. 
So if there is a finer consonant, we follow the first rule I just explained. And if there is not finer consonant, we follow this rule. In most of the cases, the word ending part is conjugated you. You can just add you at the end to make the present tense. So for example, 깨다, which means wakes up. This doesn't have finer consonant, so 다 is conjugated to 요. In the second case, 이 바오, 더, 여유 has to be added. For example, 마시다. This is the word stem, and it doesn't have finer consonant, and the vowel is 이. So, 이 바오 has to be changed to 여, and 요 is added. So, 마셔요 is the answer. And third one, if the word stem ends with 우 vowel, 워요 is added. For example, 주다, which means give. 주 is the vowel is 우, so 우 is changed to 워요. So, the answer is 줘요. And the next one, if the vowel is 으, the 어요 is added. For example, 쓰다 which means write. The vowel is 으, so 으 has to be changed to 어 vowel and 요 is added. So 써요 is the answer. And the last one, if the vowel is 오, 와요 is the answer. For example, 오다, which means come, the vowel is 오, so 오 is changed to 와요. 와요. Okay, let's practice with the example. So, 가다, its vowel is 아, so this follows the first rule. So, 가, 요 is the answer. 서다, 오. 어 vowel, the first case. So, 요 just have to be added. 서유 is the answer. 그리다, to draw. This is the word stem part. And if you look at these, the vowel is 이. So, this follow the second rule. E has to be changed to 여, 요. 그려요 is the answer. 예쁘다, which means to be pretty. 으 vowel. So the first case, 으 has to be changed to 어요. So 예뻐요 is the answer. And this might be a little bit difficult for you guys. So I'm going to practice a little bit more. 보다, which means to see. O vowel, so fifth case, so O is changed to wa. So, 봐요 is the answer. 슬프다, to be sad. Fourth case, so U has to be changed to 어요. So, 슬퍼요. 바꾸다, to change. The third case, so U has to be changed to 워요. So, 바꿔요 is the answer. 기다리다. Second case, 이 has to be changed to 여요. 기다려요 is the answer. And the last part. This is my favorite part because it is so easy to remember. There is only one rule if the word ends the 하다. So it's very easy. 하다 is conjugated to 해요. Okay, let me explain. 숙제하다, 하다 is do and 숙제 is homework. So in English, do homework, do is verb, homework is object. But in Korean, 숙제하다 is just the one verb. So if you want to make this to the present tense, 하다 is conjugated to 해요. This is the answer. There is no exception. For example, 공부하다, 전화하다, 운동. 하다, 일, 하다. It all ends with the 하다 part. And if you want to make the present tense, just 해요, 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 해요 is the answer. Very easy, right? And in the last, we are going to practice the how to make present tense with the conversation. To translate sentence into Korean, you need to remember the two things. First thing is in Korean, the subject is often omitted. And the second is, in Korean, the verb comes always the last. Okay? So, what, 뭐, you, omitted, doing, is, 
하다 in Korean. Present tense of 하다 is 해요. So 뭐 해요 is the answer. 해요 is the verb. Verb always comes the last. Answer is I'm doing homework. I, which is subject, is often omitted. So doing homework. 숙제하다. 하다 is conjugated to 해요. So the answer is 숙제해요. Okay, let's repeat. What are you doing? 뭐해요? I'm doing homework. 숙제해요. And second dialogue. When do you usually sleep? In Korean, as I said, subject is often omitted and the verb comes the last. So, usually, 보통, this is adverb, comes the first and when, 언제, sleep, 자다. 다 is conjugated to 요. So, the answer is 보통 언제 자요? And the second sentence, I usually sleep at 6. I subject is omitted and sleep, which is verb, comes the last. So, usually, 보통 comes the first and at 6, 6시에 comes the second and sleep, 자유, com, verb comes the last. So, I usually sleep at 6 is 보통 6시에 자유. Okay, let's repeat again. When do you usually sleep? 보통 언제 자유? I usually sleep at 6. 보통 6시에 자유. Okay, good job guys. You might think, oh my god, to make the present tense, there are so many rules that I should remember. But one thing you need to remember is, most of Korean verb and adjective has a finer consonant. So, you need to follow the first rule, which was really, really simple. And a lot of verb and adjective ends with 하다. So, if you want to make the present tense, you need to add just 해요. So, if you remember just the second rule, there are not many cases. Just practice as much as possible. Thank you for watching the video today. If you like this video, please subscribe me and like this video. Thank you. 감사합니다.